Brian Carney, uh, Brian Young and Stephen Ferris. We were the four who had no involvement in uh, two, 2007 World Cup in France. So you're innocent then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's probably going to be a few guys here who don't get minutes at the World Cup, you know, because obviously it's up to 33 now and there's, there's a couple extra bodies. Why did they call you the Bordeaux 4? What was the... Well, we had no involvement in the debacle that went on in, in, in France, so we didn't get out of the pool stages that year. At the time, I'm sure you were thinking about it. Was it. Humorous. In retrospect, it was, it was a bit. It was a bit of a joke that um, the reaction was obviously, um, you know, a lot of negative stuff coming out on the press and social media wasn't as crazy back then as it is now. Jordan Murphy was supposed to have left his squad. We were all unhappy. There's loads of in-house fighting. Um, Trevor Brennan went on the Late Late Show and said that I had left the squad as well. Um, and when you next saw Trevor, what did you say to him? Well, I just... I. I <laughs> I just couldn't really see it because Trevor was Trevor, you know what I mean? I remember I left the squad, it was the night before the Argentina, was it the France game or Argentina game? And um, Trevor went on to the Late Late Show that night and he was talking about his, his book that, that came out. And I ended up chatting to him earlier that day. He rang me or maybe it was on a Thursday, what's going on, all these rumours. And I said, look, it's all rubbish. I said, the team are just not playing well. The hotel we're in isn't great. It's in an industrial estate. That doesn't help. The food wasn't great in the hotel. Um, so there was a little bit of stuff creeping out there, but there was no in-house fight. And we actually trained well. We got on very well together. But um, So I was telling Trevor this, and he was like, Jesus, yeah, 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 right, okay, it's all rubbish. Um, there was a few stories about Raj and Jordan Murphy had fallen out with Eddie O'Sullivan. I remember that one. Um, but it was quite negative. The results weren't great. If people remember, it was started off with a win against Namibia. Um, then the Georgia match, we were very lucky to win that. Um, then France beat us in Paris. And then you know the next pool game, Argentina beat us and we didn't get out of the pool. But Trevor said, um, I think he said that um, I was talking to Alan Quinlan today and he was there. Yeah, well... He was going to do a Roy Keane on it and leave the squad, but he realised that nobody would miss him if he did, so he decided to stay. And the fecker said this on, uh, on the late Clearly late a show. joke. So I had, yeah. gone out to meet, took it I had gone out to meet some friends for dinner and I came back to the squad that night and Nyla Dunham was the manager. He was waiting in reception for me about half, ten, quarter to eleven. Maybe the, Trevor might have been first or second guest on the Late Late Show. <laughs> he thought it was true. And Eddie, Nilo oh. was waiting, saying, what, what the hell is going on? You, I was like, what do you mean? He said, well, this story's after getting out that you said this to Trevor. And I was like, ah, come on, Nilo. Jesus, you know, no. He said, I know, I know, I know. I partly guessed. So he had to go up and tell Eddie then that, look, when he didn't say this stuff. Right, okay. But there was a lot of conspiracy theories, weren't there? So um, <laughs> we're not going to see the Bordeaux 4 and, and, and all those all that negativity that, again. Uh, yeah, it was a great story. And, um, it was a great story. <laughs> could have killed Trevor afterwards for doing that.